Que pasa amigos, my name is Ash, and today I want to talk about the next two massive Bethesda games, Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6. While fans are seemingly more excited for Elder Scrolls 6, as it's yet another installment in one of the best franchises of all time, but with that being said, Starfield is garnering its fair share of hype as well. Both titles are massive open world RPGs that feature immensely detailed universes in which the player travels, survives, and battles through. While not many details have been released for either game, especially Starfield since we barely know what to expect, we have scraped together a few details and were given a rather surprising update from Bethesda in the past past few days. Starting with the huge update from Bethesda themselves regarding Elder Scrolls, Pete Hines of the Bethesda marketing team let slip that we will be seeing Starfield well before Elder Scrolls, and he even went on to say that we won't even see a full reveal of Elder Scrolls for years to come. While we all know both of these massive titles were years away as of their announcement at E3 2018, to hear that neither title is near release is rather disappointing in my opinion. By the sounds of it, we should be happy to see Starfield in late 2021 or even 2022, with Elder Scrolls 6 finally seeing the commercial light of day around 2023 or 4. However, a leaked job listing from Bethesda has given some the idea that development on Starfield is beginning to wrap up, making the 2021 release a real possibility. With production wrapping up to some degree on Starfield, we do know that development on Elder Scrolls hasn't exactly started yet in any significant way. Fans have been dying for more information for nearly two years now, as many of Bethesda's recent projects haven't exactly turned out so well, leaving players looking for Bethesda to release tried and true titles they feel will elevate the developer to its former legendary status. Although it has been hinted that we may not hear anything concrete at all this year, with Bethesda refusing to hold a remote replacement version for the Corona cancelled E3 conference. So what do we know so far about the heavily shrouded titles of Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield? Well, it's hard to tell sometimes what's legit as a few fake leaks have surfaced in the recent past, but here's what we know for sure. Sure. Starting with Elder Scrolls 6, we may know the exact location of where the game will take place, as hardcore fans have used clues within the trailers we've seen to indicate we will be traversing through the lands of High Rock or Hammerfell, or maybe even both. We can also assume that we will see most, if not all, of the same races that were featured in Skyrim, as well as those from previous installments in the series. We also know the music composer for Skyrim has yet to be contracted to create music for the game. While every project is different, I believe it's safe to say the backing track and compositions for a video game come in the later stages of the process. And as we discussed earlier, Bethesda has little to no development done on the title at all, so this isn't as condemning as it may sound. Moving on to a possible release date, again it's hard to say, but if I were to guess I would say we might see a small teaser later this year paired with a Starfield trailer, with a fall 2023 release being a realistic timetable for the game's eventual release. Now would I love a 2022 drop, hell yeah, but by all accounts Starfield won't even be out until fall of 2021, and with that in mind, a 2023 release may be a tad optimistic on my end, but it's hard to say one way or another. With that, let's move on to Starfield. The project, like most things Bethesda at this point, is largely shrouded in mystery, but here's what we do know. Firstly, Starfield is set on what we can assume is Earth 25 years in the future. Although the majority of the premise and mechanics may largely focus on space combat, exploration, and survival, with interplanetary and possible interstellar travel. Some of the development team even visited SpaceX to get a real-world feel for how space travel is planned for and executed, with Howard saying, quote, traveling in space in our game like it's dangerous, going on to say it's like flying in the 40s, end quote. Howard is really getting into some of the mechanics here and the general sense of how Starfield will really push players to explore, innovate, and survive in this futuristic space thriller. Howard speaks on these mechanics within the game, saying that while Starfield has Bethesda as DNA, it forced them to develop new and fresh mechanics to match this new style and theater of play that they have developed. We also know from Bethesda's Todd Howard that Starfield has been in active development for three years now and is currently past pre-production and is, quote, in a playable state, end quote. This is a pretty solid indication of how close we really are to a full-fledged trailer, which I honestly believe we will see later this year. Like we heard earlier, Bethesda has nothing planned for E3, so don't expect anything until much later in the year, if at all. So if I had to make an educated release date guess for Starfield, I would land another optimistic guess somewhere around 
around November 2021, with a spring 2022 being a bit safer of a call. Although we know these massive AAA games like to ship out around the holiday season, I guess I'm just refusing to say we're still over two years away, but that's a personal issue I'll grapple with on my own. Finally, Bethesda has said both Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield will ship exclusively for the next generation of consoles. While the release dates indicate they obviously would have, many games are aiming to release for both generations to help the industry smoothly transition. However, I think this is good news for both titles as they will be specifically developed for the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So that's everything we know so far, including the most recent mini update. I just had to jump on this subject because it feels like both games have really disappeared from the public eye for a while now. And this recent news just got me really excited to talk about what Bethesda is working on and when we will get our hands on each game. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Make sure you hit like, click or tap that subscribe button to become the heart of this gaming channel and be a part of the conversation in the comments below by telling me how you feel about Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield. And for more gaming analysis, news, reviews, and opinions, stay here on Ash Heart. And as always, thanks for watching.